Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be going over the Determined to Fight Back Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta card. This is the one that Doken awakens to Outburst of Emotion, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. Now, this is one of my favorite cards in game. I was planning on not summoning until the actual Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner that, that's supposed to be coming out in the future. I ended up pulling and I used a lot of stones. Now all of these videos were pre-recorded. So they're going to be going out. I'm probably going to do like one video a day, like probably three to five minutes per video and do a few videos and just send them all out throughout the course of like next week or this weekend. Uh, I have a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of awesome summons, a whole bunch of cool SSRs. So uh, unfortunately, you know, spoiler alert, there are no LR pulls, <laughs> but it's okay. I, uh, I used up all my stones. I had like 500 stones and that was not just on this banner. I also did the other banner, the LR Trunks banner. Which, you know, if you, you know, spoilers, I was hunting for him a little bit, but I didn't buy that many packs. I think I only got the on-sale packs when they came out. But uh, outside of that, I haven't really gone to, uh, to him outside of that. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing our Determined to Fight Back Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta Team Building Guide and Card Review. I know there are other cards that have come out, so I'm going to try to do those this weekend as well, or this week. So uh, stay tuned for all that as well. Anyway, his, let's talk about the card. Leader Ability, Super Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. So he's like a little mini leader. He's not awesome, but he's cool because he's a rainbow leader, uh, especially when he gets Doken Wake and that turns into a key plus three with a little bit better of a stat buff. So overall, his leader ability is not, while it's not amazing for a non Doken Fest exclusive, it's a pretty good card. Uh, it's finally like they gave, they're starting to, just from overall from this card, Vegeta's finally starting to get, uh, you know, has a good card in game where everyone could be happy about. Uh, Super Attack Furious Gallic on raises attack to one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy, which is phenomenal. I love that raises attack thing. Uh, passive skill, no more confusion, attack and defense plus 80%, which is unbridled, so as soon as he's on the field, he gets that buff. So that means he's going to be tanking right off the bat, and he gets an additional rage when HP is 30% or below. Now, I'm not a huge fan of rage because it can hurt you in certain positions, in certain setups, but it's not bad. When HP is 30% or below, if he gets on the field, he, he rages out, and you do a lot of damage. Of course, it's only one time, and it's, uh, it's not like a ticking time bomb like with the Great Apes, you know? It's not like you don't know when it's going to happen. If you know that if you're going to lose a lot of health, that Vegeta is going to go great or going to go rage mode as soon as the next turn hits. So, um, again, I'm not a big fan of rage mode, but it's just pretty cool because he has it, you know. Uh, Link skills are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Golden Warrior, Berserker, and Prepare for Battle. Now, remember, non -a not a Doken Fest exclusive. He will not be getting Fierce Battle on his Doken Awakening, but he doesn't have that bad of Link skills. He's definitely going to be really good for linking with other um, Vegetas in the game because when he Doken Awakens, his new name is Super Sa or is, uh, it's Vegeta and Bulma, so any other Vegeta card will link with him really well. Um, his max stats, oh, but with me stating that as well, if you happen to pull two of them, you could technically link the two of them together for really good linking buddies as well. <laughs> uh, max stats are going to be uh, defense of 3858, attack of 6990, and HP of 4993. If you want to dupe system him, which I would actually recommend doing, uh, his max HP is 6391, attack of 8990, and defense of 5858. And without dupe system, yo, he is, his attack his attacks that's ridiculous for for full dupe system. Um, HP is ninety three ninety one, attack of twelve thousand three hundred and ninety, and defense of eight thousand four hundred and fifty eight. Now the reason I say that is just because his passive skill is an unbridled eighty percent, and when you Doken awaken him, it's a hundred percent. And his attack stats are even higher. <laughs> um, he has one hundred thirty five twelve key multiplier, which is kind of whack, but overall he's a really good unit, and he tanks well and he hits really hard. Now, we Doken Awakens with medals from the event. These two, the Trunks and the Bulma medals, come from the actual event. Uh, the Vegeta medals, you actually have to grind puddings from the event and then go to the Baba Shop, which is a pain in the butt because it's a little bit of a grind fest to do it. Now, you're going to go over here. It's called the Vegeta, the Indomitable Warrior event. This is the event that you see right here. It has the Beerus and the Bulma. Uh, Beerus is a good card also. I might do a separate video on him. But uh, again, we're just going to focus on this one. And there's also this Vegeta that's farmable. Uh, anyway. From the event, the Trunks medals are going to be from Stage 1, Vegeta's Family Day, and Bulma medals are going to be Level 3, which is Vegeta's Rage. You go ahead and grind them out there. Those are really easy to grind out. If you're interested, Stage 4 does have the free-to-play Vegeta, the Rage Vegeta. Uh, he's available there, so you can go ahead and grab him if you want to. I'll, I'll just take a look at him real quick. Uh, and we have the Puddings. The Puddings are going to be available on Stage 2. It's not a guaranteed drop, though. So you can get from 0 to 5. You need, I believe it was like 7 or 8 of them in order to go into the Baba Shop and purchase... Uh, the uh, actual medals for Vegeta in order to Doken Awaken him. But you need to do the same thing for Beerus as well, for the Beerus medals if you want to Doken Awaken him. And when you Doken Awaken him, that's when things get really awesome. Um, he Doken Awakens into Outburst of Emotion, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. So this is what I was saying before, his title changes. Now he's Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma, which means he will link with any Vegeta in the game. His leader ability is Super Type, Key Plus 3, 
HP attack and defense plus 40%. His super attack, Furious Galakon, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy, which is awesome. Now that greatly raises attack, this means he's going to be hitting even so much harder. His passive skill is Pride Discarded. Attack and defense plus 100%, that's what I was saying before. And guys, he gets the ability to counter with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks. So no super attacks, which kind of stinks, but because he gets that defensive plus 100% up, he's going to be tanking a lot better than most units. I was actually playing with him because I, I do have him, you know, spoilers there too. <laughs> I do have him and he tanks like crazy. I'm telling you, he's such a phenomenal unit and he keeps his rage at 30% or below only once. So overall, he has a really good passive skill, a really good super attack, and his leader ability, while the, uh, the actual stat buff isn't phenomenal, for those of you who do not have a hero leader, he will serve really good, especially when we get the TUR uh, Super Vegito Blue, the new one that comes out with the 90 or the 70% leader. He'll at least be able to make up for that. And if you think about it, the TUR that we got, the old Dokun Fest exclusive, he's just 10% off from that. Just think about that for a second. He is just a non Dokun Fest exclusive, and he literally he does more damage than the TUR Vegito, the the current physical one that we have. Like it's insane. Anyway. Link skills are, everything's pretty much the same, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage Prodigies, Golden Warrior, Berserker prepared for battle, but he does get Shattering the Limit, which makes him useful in certain situations. Unfortunately, he has so much freaking key here, he, has, he only has Prodigies as attack buff and a Super Saiyan. Um, outside of that, I mean, Berserker is one of those throwaways because almost no one has it, and the few that do have it, it's very difficult to get your HP 50% or below. And... If you do, it ha happens so rarely in-game, and if it does happen, chances of it actually going off and him not going rage mode, that's something else to take into consideration. So, uh, I don't really consider Berserker just because it's, oh, it's very difficult to get off, and even if you do, because of his other uh, passive of rage when 30% is below, you literally have a 20% line of health that you need to try and get him to hit in order for that to go off. I'm not saying it's impossible. But, you know, just take the, it's just something else to factor in. It's in terms of probability, and we always have to take probability in the, in the, in the, in the, into consideration, this is a math-based game. Anyway, his max stats are HP of 6153, attack of 8679, and defense of 5422. Base dupe system is HP of 8153, attack of 10679, and defense of 7422. And if you get all four dupe pairs unlocked, his max HP is 11,153, attack of 14,079, and defense of 10,022. If you get him full all dupe pads unlocked, he is going to be a beast. Anyway, he's currently only available on the global side. His 12 key multiplier is 145%, huge upgrade. His tremendous multiplier for his counters is 300%. His counterattacks can also be critical, so highly recommend putting critical buffs on him. And because he has that free dupe system, if you don't have any dupe system on him, you can actually get that for him, at least level 5. And the, the the agility one, Hadouken Awakens, from the event can be used to max out his super attack if you want to do something like that. Now, personally, I did not do that. I just I wanted him up so fast. Um, I, this the, the thing is about this, this card over here, it's the Vegeta and Bulma, so the actual chances of you getting up to um, super attack 10 this way, you have to use so many Elder Kai medals. I think it's Elder Kai. Uh, yeah, Elder Kai medals in order to Z-Awaken him to 100%. And you got to get this guy up to, you know, you got to get at least like 20 or 30 of this guy up to SSR. It's just way too much. I didn't want to do all that. Uh, so I didn't. I just used Elder Kai's on him. The one thing I will say is if you want to, you could always go into the Baba shop for this guy. Because he's a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and there are other Super Saiyan 2 Vegetas in game. Nothing really free to play unless you consider the Baba shop one. Let's go over here to the Vegeta disambiguation. Um, disambiguation. <laughs> Uh, and we have the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And all these guys are Super Saiyan 2 Vegetas. Now, you can grab any of these. This is the Baba Shop one that I was talking about before. If you want to grind that out, you can. All the other ones are summonable ones. But the thing about them is that even though they can feed into the TUR variant, the Vegeta and Bulma one, I wouldn't recommend doing it because they're all pretty damn nasty when they get Dokken Awakened. Um, the Strength one actually notably really is too. He actually turns out to be his winnable. I'm going to go over that in a minute. But this one turns out to be one of his best linking buddies on the on a mono strength team. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't fall into any category. That really sucks. He doesn't have any category leads, but maybe one day he will. Um, but because of that, it, it kind of makes him only good on a 120 team. But that doesn't mean he's a bad unit. 
Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, this guy, by the way, this is just the base form of Vegeta. I just wanted to talk about it. Mixed feelings, Vegeta. Uh, you can get him all at the Super Attack 10, then Doken Awaken him. The only medals that are required for his Doken Awakening are the grindable trunks and Bulma medals. You don't need anything for Baba Shop. Then he Doken Awakens into this beast also. He plus 3 attack and defense plus 50% when facing one enemy. Counters with enormous power upon receiving normal attack. So he's a little mini version of the other Vegeta. No rage mode, so that, 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 that you, know, you guys might like that, you might not like that. He has some really good link skills. Um, and his tremendous power multiplier is only 200%, but he's definitely not that bad. Uh, he's, he's a minor, minor, minor new uh, <laughs> agility leader as well. But anyway, so <clears throat> let's talk about his best linking buddies. Um, here we go. That's not exactly what I want. Uh, sorry, the, the, the DokkanBattleBuilder.com had changed a little bit, so it's uh, my setup is based off of that one. <laughs> anyway, so let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more over here so that way you guys can have it better on the screen. So this is what we have over here. These are all his best linking buddies in game. Now, if you haven't seen, this is five or more uh, because there are so many when you listed four out there because he has just a generic Super Saiyan link skill set. So it's essentially all the Vegetas and Trunkses. So, well, not all the Trunkses, but some of the Trunkses. So like these three Trunkses over here are definitely his best linking buddies if you're considering him for a super team, something like that. Um, not horrible. This Trunks is actually really good, really viable. His is his passive is attack plus 100%. Um, this Trunks is really good for support, so he's going to be really cool to have as a rotational unit. If you have this Vegeta in the middle, that will make him really useful. And this Trunks over here does link decently with him as well, uh, if you want to use him. Uh, notably, though, I mean, this the Technique Vegeta, which I don't believe is available on the global side as of yet. I'm going to have to double check on that one. Um, and all the other Super Saiyan Vegetas, or Super Saiyan 2 Vegetas, and this one Super Saiyan God Vegeta, they all link with him. Now, these are all TURs, by the way. I didn't do SSRs just because there was too many. Um, so you can go ahead and grab any of these Vegetas over here, and they will just be phenomenal for him. Let me bring this up a little bit. I didn't realize I wasn't there. Um, you could use all of them, and it would just be... He's just awesome. <laughs> so you could run all these guys on one team. Unfortunately, some of these guys are extreme types, so if they are an extreme type, you will not be able to run them on a super team. But, you know, that's it's something you're going to have to take into consideration when you're doing your team building. Make sure you do your guide. Make sure you follow the rules of how a team should be set up based off of the leader skills. If you're going to do a super leader of, like, Super Vegito Blue or something like that, you can't have any extreme types on there. If you're going to do a 120 lead, then you can't have any... Um, it's probably going to be mono. You know, it's like strength. Anyway, like in terms of strength, like that's what I was kind of go with there before. His best linking buddies are going to be here. We have the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, which I would just honestly recommend having him. Uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is really good, or this Trunks. Both of them are really good. Vegeta hits off one additional link skill. Um, it's Prodigies, so that's an extra 10% attack buff. The thing is, like this Trunks, uh, let's see over here. It's actually really cool how this is set up. This Trunks does a 12 key multiplier of 150%. Um, attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Now, this Vegeta only does attack plus 70% when key is 6 or more, which is always going to be all the time. But this Trunks will do more damage. So it's really up to you if you want this Vegeta to hit harder. You would want to bring this Vegeta with you. So if you want this guy to hit harder, you would bring this Vegeta with you. If you want this, if you don't care and you just want the more damage output from overall, this Trunks might be a better option for you because he does do an additional 30% damage output total. But I guess it also depends on the counter ability that this guy's going to have. An additional 10% on him, if he's getting hit all the time, you know, because he's going to be your primary hit, then this Vegeta might be better for you because you get that additional 10% for all those counters. So, again, up to you on how you want to run it. But these two are probably going to be his best linking buddies. And then other guys that you can use to link with him on a mono strength team are going to be the, the Rage Goku, the one that transformed for Frieza. Uh, he survives knockout attacks. This GT Goku, which I never talk about because I don't like him. I think he's a whack unit. And this Trunks. And this Trunks honestly isn't that bad. Attack plus 70% at the start of the turn, which is not that bad at all. Uh, supreme damage and lowers the defense. He doesn't have... He's not great, but he's not horrible. This is his TUR variant. He Doken Awakens from the Strength Rage Trunks. Uh, the big buff trunk, Super Saiyan Grade 2 or whatever it actually is. He's not bad. He's really not a bad unit. He's just like one of those B-tier units where it's like... If you don't have a Doken Fest exclusive, then you're going to go to like one of these guys up over here, and then if you don't have either of these two, then he would be chosen after that. So, he's not bad. It's just that if you had other options, you would definitely want to choose those options over him. Um, in terms of team building overall, I mean, obviously you're going to want to... Let's go ahead and just throw out here like some of the units that we're probably going to want on this team. Um, we're going to go ahead and add the SSRs because we want to have the SSR support. Alright, quick jump. Now, I did want to talk about the actual best team for him for Mono Strength. Now, we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You're obviously going to want them on primary rotation. Um, and you have your Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma card, which is really awesome. 
there's two best linking buddies, depends on which one you want to choose for your rotation, for which one you have. And then you have your three, well, technically support units. You're going to want, you're going to have your friend Super Saiyan 4 Goku on rotation just because, you know, he's there. You're going to, you want that 140, I mean, that 240% attack, the HP attack and defense buff. So you're going to have both of those Super Saiyan 4 Gokus here. Uh, the Bardock is one of the best support units in game. And so is Kaba just because of he's a mono strength uh, a buff unit. <laughs> so... Overall, this is going to be your, probably your best choices for this kind of team. Unfortunately, the thing that, that that happens with the mono STR team, there's just so many damn good units you can choose. I mean, look at this. You have your Super Saiyan God Goku card, which he still don't have a Doken Awakening, but he's still awesome. Um, you have the Gogeta card, which... I mean, Vegeta might do more damage overall, but remember, he still he doesn't do as much damage against like agility units. But because he does counter and he tanks very well, he might actually be a really good unit to replace this Vegeta with this Gogeta with. I mean, it, it's it's kind of hard because he's like such an OG and such a hard hitting unit. But there's so many so many more good units coming out that it doesn't make sense to keep him in anymore. Uh, unless he gets an extreme uh, Z awakening, then at that point he'll probably do a lot better. You also have the good tanker Vegeta over here. Unfortunately, he only links with the other Vegeta for, with two link skills. So, and that is what? Only Golden Warrior and Super Saiyan? Not really worth it. You have the ultimate Gohan. Now, he doesn't really share that many link skills with this whole team. That was one of my biggest gripes when he first came out. He, his link skills suck. But he's still a good hard hitting unit. You have the actual Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And it looks like he shares three link skills with this Vegeta. So, that might not be too bad. Let's see. It's uh, key plus two, attack plus 10%. So, key plus three, technically. So, 3 key isn't horrible, it'll at least get super attacks off all the time. And then, I threw the TUR Vegito over here because he will Doken Awaken, it's a little placeholder for the LR variant of himself. Uh, so, you can definitely have him up in there as well. So, it's really your call on who you want to run. There are so many good units in this game, this is essentially everyone you can have on that Mono Strength team. But for this Vegeta, this is probably going to be one of your best setups that you can possibly have. Yes, you could throw other support units over here. You don't need to. And if you don't believe in support, then you can take out the Kaba if you have him. You take out the Bardock if you have him. Or, you know, if you don't want to use them. And you can throw other units in there. Like, I would definitely have Gogeta on there if you're not, if you don't believe in using support. And then you could throw anyone else you want in here. If you want to tank a little bit better, you could throw in the Super, the, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. If you don't have him, the Super Saiyan God Goku is really good because he shares a lot of link skills with everyone for key. Um, Gohan's cool, he, it's really harder to get his uh, super attacks off, but you could also have like the LR Vegito in there when he gets Dogen Awakened, or you could have this Gohan in there, or any of your other favorite STR cards. But overall, this is what I would think to be one of your best teams. Uh, in terms of damage output, I don't know how much damage output per round between having these two link skills if you get like, let's say two counters per person, 300% uh, out. Plus additional 10% on top of that, you might get a little bit more damage output by having this Vegeta linked with him if he's getting attacked at least two times per round. Then this Trunks that gets an additional 30%. So uh, again, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see and find out how that would actually play out. I don't really. I'm not going to do full on the math in that. I did want to say that there is a Reddit post before I end the video. For those of you who are interested, um, shout out to Mobile Man for the stats. This turns out that he is such a ridiculous unit. When you factor in counterattacks, him, well, let's see, well, let's, let's start from the beginning. Um, 10,000 base attack, pa plus passive skill, plus Super Saiyan Link, comes out to, and it's 12 key multiplier, 115,000. Uh, super attack level 10, that comes up to 590,000. With counterattacks, um, three time counterattack multiplier times at one time average number of counters before super. Let's see, that's 347,000. And then you add 1.5, 50% attack buff from the super attack. So when he gets his super attack, oh, I'm sorry, you guys aren't even seeing this right now. When you get the super attack buff, um, and, you know, when you do the super attack, he greatly raises his attack. You get the 1.5, I guess that's a 50% attack buff. That gives any counter he does after super attack an additional buff, which gives him an additional 781,000 damage. A sum of all attacks for one turn comes out to 1.7 million damage. Critical hit chance, average multiplier, comes out to about 1.5 million damage um average type modifier plus percentage of non-critical tax is 1.5 uh percentage of critical tax is additional 326,000. average attack generated from non-critical attacks plus to the the actual average attack from critical hits his average attack is 1.89 million damage so average attack once his counter attack and key, five key critical hit chances are factored in is 1.89 or almost 1.9 million damage that's insane. That is just insane. I love this card so much. I'm oh my god, this is such an awesome card. 
Uh, as you can see, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma's attack is ridiculous. Um, how do they stack up against the hardest hitters in game? In global, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma is the hardest hitting TUR in game. It doesn't factor in LRs, just TURs. How insane is that? Literally, non Doken Fest exclusive is the hardest hitting TUR in game in terms of damage output when you factor in counters. Um, if you don't factor in counters, he's definitely a little bit lower on the scale, but it's still awesome to know. Uh, if you include units that have been released on JP, he would be the fourth hardest hitting unit TUR in the game. What? Uh, how well would they perform under the most powerful leader abilities? Uh, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bone were under the same leader uh, buff as Super Vegito. Attack was 130% attack. They would generate attack more than the actual Super Vegito. If they were under a 150% lead, they would generate an average attack of 2.2 million damage, which would be enough to make them the hardest hitting TUR in JP. If they were under a 170% lead, which I don't see that happening because it would just be so broken, they would be the be above all other JP units other than the two LRs, Broly and Super Saiyan 3, Goku. That's just uh, nuts. Also, his leader ability, he tanks very well. Unfortunately, he only is going to be under that 120 lead for that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but his defense is going to be 50,000 uh, 50, defense, 50,400 defense when he's under that 120 lead. So he's just a ridiculous card. He's definitely worth pulling on for those of you wondering if you should pull for him or not. He's probably one of the most wonderful cards I've ever seen in the game. I'm also a big Vegeta fan, so <clears throat> the fact that he came out with such an amazing unit, especially with counters and all that, that everyone loves, this unit is almost completely broken. The only thing that would make him even more broken is if he was, like, resistant to, like, agility units or something like that, like he had a guard against agility. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was fun and informative for you. I'm super hyped about the card. Full dupe system as I possibly can. I hope I pull more of him in the future. But uh, I hope you guys pulled him. If you're hunting for him, good luck, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.